Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. Okay, I'm gonna get into it straight away because I know that's exactly what you guys want. I will be dividing this video into three parts. First, my personal top six, followed by the top six that I think is gonna end up being the top six because there are a few differences in the two. And lastly, I'm gonna talk about the potential twists that can happen. So yeah let's just get into it okay so a lot of this i have actually written down because i wanted to make sure i knew what i was uh, gonna say for my personal top six i have five members that i really really want in the debut lineup and the final spot is a little bit confusing for me so uh we should just get into it firstly i have young so young so literally she's the ace i think she's perfect in every way and just from the very first episode i think i mentioned it in my reaction too i was like this girl is debut material and i felt that throughout the show secondly i have yuna i love this girl to bits she is definitely gonna be the jokester of the group i can already tell i never thought her performances were lacking she's the only other girl by the way apart from young so that i thought was debut material right away in the first episode next up we have jimin jimin i find her so cute her personality is so adorable is so sweet so kind so funny as well actually and i really like her stage presence her performances jimin has showed great improvement in her vocals and now she's just so strong overall i i think it would be horrible to lose her from the debut line next up i have jiu jiu okay ever since i watched that give and take in performance uh i've been in love <laughs> that performance made me cry so um i think that says enough you know because i follow and hype pretty closely like all their music and therefore i feel kind of attached and them doing their debut song Give and take in and do you just really doing such an amazing job i did get emotional over it yeah and ever since then i've just had my eye on her and um she always impresses me and i feel like in this debut group they need someone with the vocals especially after the elimination that we had in round number nine next up i have iroha Iroha had also got my eye from the very first episode. She has tremendous stage presence and she just really shines on stage. And like she has improved on her vocals also a lot. And in terms of her personality, I just love the duality of her of her personality because like off stage she's like a little baby deer. <laughs> But on stage, it's like, who the heck is this? It's so crazy, the difference. I just love her so, so much. So these are the top five that I really, really want in the final, personally. And the last one, the last part, it was extremely difficult for me to decide because I really genuinely do love all the girls. But I had to think like, okay, if, if I don't put too much thought into this, who is the first person that comes to mind? And then I got an answer. And this might be kind of unexpected because I think she's less popular compared to the other girls. Uh, but the last member I've written down is Jimena. Jimena just grew on me so freaking much. She grew on me the most because literally in the first episode, she was invisible. Invisible because they did not air her performance with yuisa when that happened i was like oh for sure she's gonna be eliminated right because they didn't give that performance importance maybe they just don't care or something i don't know but the way she grew on me and the way she is so good at all the concepts i really like her vocals her expressions her dancing her personality is so cute off stage someone who has like really dug a hole in my heart and is now living there is Jimena <laughs> so I had to include her in the top six but it was very very difficult all right moving on to the predicted top six this is going to be a little different from my personal top six yeah let's just get into it first up is <laughs> going to repeat we have young so because I feel like there's no way she's not debuting there's just no way and like in terms of the judges like her the everyone likes her in korea global she's just like 
the overall liked person. There's just no way she's not gonna make it. Next I have written down is Jimin. Jimin has been uh, pretty consistent in my opinion and the only time she has been kind of in the low level and stuff is because like the group that she was in and the group lost and because of that she kind of ended up in the low level but I feel in terms of her own performance even with the low level group she has always done very well for herself and I feel like people generally do like her as well yeah I just really feel strongly about Jimin being there in the final six next up I have uh, Iroha Iroha has I believe she has a lot of backing from the Japanese audience of course uh, this can slightly be a toss-up between Iroha and Mocha but uh, I'm slightly leaning towards Iroha just because of how the results have been until now. Until the last episode, I have to mention that because in the last episode, there were little ups and downs that happened. We'll get to that later on in the last uh, section of this video. I think she's always got the support of the judges as well. So that makes me believe that she is going to be in the top six, especially if there is only going to be one Japanese member, which I think there will be. I'm really leaning towards it being Iroha. That's what I think. Okay, next up we have Yuna. Yuna, yes, she was not making it to like the global top six ranking and all of that, but um, she has in crazy star potential. And uh, I feel like people have warmed up to her as the episodes have gone. Some of the episodes before did show her kind of in a negative light, but they kind of switched that up and she was more funny and she was shown in a more positive light. And I feel like people have really warmed up to her now. Next up, we have Minju. So this is the first one that's different from my personal top six. Please do not get me wrong. I really do love all the contestants. And I just have to say that no matter who is debuting right now, I am still going to be following the group and, you know, reacting to them, standing them, all of that. I think Minju is another one which is like uh, pretty obvious that she's gonna be there because she is quite high ranking she has been always high ranking always in the global top six she's kind of like Youngso as well where everybody likes her <laughs> so she is in my opinion definitely gonna be there in the final six for Minju as well just like Jimin there have been times that uh, she has been in the low and kind of in the middle and that was also because of like you know the groups and the benefit system and then the losing groups being at the bottom even though she might have individually done well lastly i have wani so wani is it's a very mixed feeling not for me i really do like wani too okay i actually do like wani uh, but just the discourse online regarding her, it's it's really 50-50. And in terms of the judges, I think the judges do like her. And in terms of the votes, if globally she isn't getting that many votes, I do believe that Korea does like her. And also a lot of other Asian countries. So I feel like she could get a lot of votes from there. And um, this is making me believe that Wani is going to be in the top six as well. I'm just quickly going to talk about the two people that are not there from my personal top six. That's Jiu and Himena. I know this might sound really crazy that Jiu is not there in my predicted top six, but I don't know why I have like this little fear in my soul. I don't know why, because when I just think about the show and the comments Jiu has got and the reaction of the Korean public, the overall reaction hasn't been too, too positive. Like, I know a lot of people obviously like her from Korea too. I'm not saying that <laughs> everyone doesn't like her. But, like, Jiwoo definitely has more votes from the global area. Like, people really love her across the world like that. But I just fear. I just have, like, this fear in terms of her. I don't know why. I cannot explain it. I have more fear in my heart in terms of her debuting than I do for the other members. So that's the reason like, yeah, in my predicted top six, like I had to be real with myself and put it down like this. Obviously, I'm hoping I'm wrong too. <laughs> so anyway, and the second person, which was Jimena in my personal top six, I think this one is a little more obvious. In terms of votes, Jimena has always been kind of at the bottom. 
And even though I really love her, I I really don't think she is actually going to debut in the top 6. I I feel a pain in my heart saying that, but I kind of have to accept that fact. I really don't think so. unless something crazy happens, I feel like it's really going to be tough for Himena to be in the top 6. All right, we are at the final section. So the twist that I really wanted to talk about is not new. It's something that people were really expecting, and that is the inclusion of a seventh member. I cannot say for sure if this is happening, but a lot of the girls on the show were thinking in the very first episode that there were going to be seven members, and also a lot of people watching the show thought that there were going to be seven members debuting. So, I don't know where this rumor came from and why people thought this. I'm not sure of that, but that just makes the whole thing a little bit suspicious to me. If in case they do add a seventh member, if the added member is from the rest of the remaining members, I would really love to have Jiu or Himena, you know, cuz they were in my personal top 6. If it is from anyone that is eliminated, I will really be hoping for Chanel or Funa. These are the people that I'm really rooting for personally. The next thing I wanted to talk about in this section is a little bit in the territory of like conspiracy theory. <laughs> so if you guys don't like conspiracies, please click out of here right now. So in order to make my prediction and stuff, like I wanted to write down some of their uh results, the votes, you know, like the total of the votes that each member got and stuff like that. I will put some pictures of me scribbling down stuff and this is really only taking into consideration round number 9. So, if you look at the final results of episode number 9, you will see this order. It's Minju, Mocha, Youngso, uh Iroha, Jiu, Jimin and Wonhee. Then in 8th, we have Yuna, then Jongin and then Himena. So this was including the benefit and all of it, the global, the audience, the coaches, all of that. So what I really wanted to see is how they did when you removed the benefit. Cuz the benefit is really about which group won. So it's more like a team effort sort of thing. What I really wanted to see was the placement of the girls without the benefit. So it really depended on the votes alone and this you see now is the ranking after i removed all the benefits so now we have minju youngso jimin yuna iroha mocha and jiu the only difference now is that yuna is in and wani is out and the reason i have been saying seven members and not six is mainly because of this if we look at the pre show order which was assigned to them in the very first episode the top 7 then and the top 7 i have written down without the benefit are the exact same members that is so crazy to me i don't know how that has ended up this way i don't know man i don't know if this is a weird coincidence but it is a little crazy for it to be a coincidence then it really starts making me think like did they know already who they wanted to debut at the end and like then it's like you know what's the whole point of the show uh, okay i get the point of the show it's really to you know make it more exciting before they debut and stuff but really what were the chances of it being the same top 7 girls i had to say 7 because youngso is uh number 7 in the pre show order and there is no way that she is not debuting and to be honest i will actually not be surprised if this top 7 is the debut lineup. I will not be surprised at all. The only reason, which is a really big reason that I think that this might not be the debut line and you know, this is just a conspiracy, you know, is that why would they do this? Why would they make it so obvious for people to criticize later on? You know, cuz all of us will be like, "Hello, this was the pre-show top 7 so like why did you even do the show right i think there would be a lot of people that would be unhappy with this kind of uh thing but yeah i think i should end this video i wanted to keep it as short as i could but i think it's still going to be long hopefully i can edit it trim it down make it short but i have uploaded 
until episode 9 on my Patreon. If you guys are interested in watching to my Are You Next reactions, it's there. And of course, once the final is done, I will also be uploading that. Stay tuned for that. I am so excited for the final. Also very nervous. But I can't imagine how nervous the girls are. Again, I support all the girls. I love all of them. If you have seen my reactions on my Patreon, I think you will understand that I do genuinely like all of them a lot. And I will be rooting for all of them no matter who debuts. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited to see the group name. Anyway, you guys, if you watched till the end, thank you so much for listening to me ramble. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye!